so as soon as you walk in this is the front door right here I wish I could show you all the outside but for privacy purposes I'm not going to be able to but I'll see if I can insert some pictures of how it looks at the entrance so as soon as you walk in here this is the door on the immediate left we do have a closet and this right here is the closet originally this was supposed to be the powder room Yep, it was supposed to be the powder room. As you can see right here, this is actually the hookup for the, I think the sink or all the plumbing stuff. But I told them I didn't want the powder room right at the entrance. Can you imagine the powder room right here? And then that's your entry, entry door. I didn't really like that option. So we did relocate the powder room upstairs. Over here is the coat closet, just a small closet. Let me stand back a bit and excuse the echo because it's really it's empty. There's nothing in here. So anyways, this floor and I think, it, I'm not sure it's hardwood, but I don't know if it's the um, fake one or the laminate or whatever. I assume it is because that's just what people are using now, but I'm not too sure. But anyways, this is it. It goes all the way through till you reach right here. This door is just the door to the garage. Oh, okay. So this is just a one car garage here. This light fixture would definitely be changed. I already purchased one. So this is a tie home. So it's a three level tie home. The moment you walk in this first level here is your basement as well. So this is my basement. So right now I'm walking into the basement. Right here is just the utility room. And then we have some additional storage in here. I have to figure out how these lights work. Okay, so here is the basement. It's a pretty good size. And all of these built-in LED lights, which is supposed to last for a couple of years. A lot of new builders are doing these now. This door right here leads you to the utility closet as well. But this is the basement. The basement, I believe the walls are eight foot. And then on the second and the third level, we have nine foot ceiling, nine foot walls or whatever you call it. So this is it y'all. And this mirror right here, it has to go away. Somebody's gonna pick it up. And the reason why you see this, this is supposed to be the mirror in the master bathroom, but I told them not to put any mirrors in any of the bathrooms because I wanted to put my own mirrors. Y'all already know this house is about to be lit. Anyway, so yeah, so they did leave it there because they said that I already purchased it and it comes with the house, so they can't just take it away or dispose of it unless I do it myself. Anyway, so that's what I'll be doing. So this wall right here, this is where the TV will be, of course. And I have to get the blind company to come out and do the measuring for the blinds out here. So this is it. Let's go on up to the second level. The second level is where the living room, dining room, and the kitchen is at. Yeah, that's just my bag right there. So let's go on up. The stairs are all carpeted. But I do want to do the um, the hardwood on the first floor, the entire room. I really want it to be hardwood. So they told me they left some additional, um, some extra ones in there. I have to check it out later. Anyway, so the second floor, the stairs are all carpeted. Personally, I have a love and hate relationship with hardwood, literally, especially on the stairs, because I can count so many times that I have fall, I fail. I have fallen, is what I meant to say, um, from the top to the bottom, and it was no joke. So I really, I love the look of it, but I just kind of hate it in a way because it's, it gets a bit slippery and before you know it, wearing high heels coming down or whatever the case may be. Anyways, look at the railing, so pretty. We have a short little one right here. There's another look of the entryway. 
so I'm not sure for now I'm just gonna keep it as it is um, but maybe in the future years down the line I may change them love the Raylan love 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 the color so this right here is the second level which is the living room and I gotta figure out what all these lights are seriously let me just take a guess okay that was one of them um let me see this one is for the living room I doubt it yep I thought so it's not so where's the lights oh there's no lights in here okay I guess that's it anyway so let me stand back a bit this is the main living room it's pretty spacious this wall is where my TV was going is going to be um, mounted on I'm thinking to have a three-seater here another three-seater on the other side and two accent chairs I love all these um, windows bringing in so much light it's a little bit late now anyway so this is where they relocated the um, powder room on this side I gotta make sure everything still flushes so I'm gonna do that right after this video make sure the water is working hot is getting hot cold is getting cold I gotta do all of that so I do have a mirror already that's gonna go in here um let's see I love 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 this feature right here so this is this was our they came, this came with the house anyway um this allows you to set your temperature in the house on your phone so all of these smart features they are adding to the house is really a plus um let's see so this is just another look of the living area so let's go on to the kitchen my favorite part i really love this kitchen i actually chose these counter colors um because as much as i love white i'm not a big fan of white kitchen so i already knew that i wanted um dark cabinets i love the look of dark cabinets i don't know what it is but there's something about dark cabinet that i really love it just gives me this type of elegance that i really really love trust me i do love the look of the white as well but personally at least for now i don't i, I definitely wanted a darker cabinet anyway so this is the um the kitchen this right here will be the dining area let me stand back in the living room so you guys can have a better look. Love, love, love the island with two sinks. So pretty. All of these cabinets down here. Um, this is, of course, the what? Mm, I was going to say wash and dry. This is definitely not that. This is a dishwasher. All the buttons are here. And I love that, especially if you have little ones, because it's kind of hidden. I love this granite top. Um, the project manager told me to seal it when I get home. I mean, once I move in. So I did order some from Amazon. This is the other side of the kitchen. Love the cabinet so much. Of course, your built-in microwave. Your gas cooktop, which I love. I'm not a big fan of the electric. I have one in my apartment now. I don't really like it. So yeah, this process has been, they started building this house about six months ago. And um, personally for me, when I moved into my apartment, which you all have seen, I knew that I was only gonna be there for a month. I mean, for a year. So I started this process of building my home, I think in June, because I've been um, looking for homes probably a year before I moved into my, my apartment. And I knew it was going to take a while finding a home that you really love. So this is probably, I probably went to like at least 20 homes before I found this one. And I was like, you know what, this is it. And guess what? When I came to this community, the floor plans, not the floor plans, the model home they had, they didn't have this particular model. However, the other two I loved, I loved certain parts of each. So I was like, you know what? I don't like either or. Do you guys have something else? And they were like, yes, our biggest floor plan, we actually do not have a model for it. And that gives you everything that you love. 
and this was the third floor I mean floor plan they had but it didn't have a model for it but I was able to you know kind of visualize anyway pantry right here da -da -da. pretty good size this right here is supposed to be where the hutch is I did want the builder to do it for me but then I realized that and I thank God that my sales guy was very transparent. But anyway, he was like, you can get us cheaper if you don't let us do it. So if you don't want to add more costs to your mortgage or your loan, don't do it. Just do it later. And indeed, they were right because I got a coat on it and it's much, much affordable. So it's going to be a kitchen hutch right here. I'll show you guys a picture of it. I'll try to insert one here. Dining room. Dining table is going to be right here. And in a model, like I said, not this particular model, but the one they had, which had the same extension as this particular home. Right here, they had another seating area, so they had like a couch and two chairs. They actually had a TV mounted right here as well, but I'm not gonna do that. But it's a lot of space, as you can see. And this island can comfortably seat about four bar stools. That's what the floor plan, I'm sorry, the model had. These pendant lights, I'm definitely going to change. I do like them, but I have purchased some already. Anyway, so let's go upstairs to the final floor, final level. Like I said, I gotta figure out how these lights work. Let me just see if some, oh, okay. All right, so we go into the third floor. This is where all the bedrooms are. I love the rails. And I love how high this is as well. It's pretty tall. As soon as you come upstairs, these two double doors right here leads you to the, uh, gotta figure out how these lights work. This is the washer and dryer closet the laundry room so the washer goes on the left dry on the right i do have some built-in cabinets which i love and appreciate so much these are white of course it's low maintenance i don't mind it because it's not a lot it's only here so i do have to purchase my own washer and dryer um this little space right here in a model they had they actually had a console table and then a mirror which is so pretty. So y'all already know it's going to be a lot going on. But, yep. Yeah. Alright. So this room is the third room. I assume there's no lights in here because it is a bedroom. I got to put light in there. But anyways, um, hopefully it's not too dark for you guys to see. But this is the third room, which is the smallest room. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath Town home, but in a model, they did have a full size bed in here and two nice stands and a dresser. So it all depends on how you put your furniture. And this is the closet for this bedroom. So, yeah, you can easily put a full size bed. Oh, this is perfect for a kid's room, especially if you have a newborn and they can easily grow into it to maybe seven so but anyway this is it right next to that room is the second largest room and this run right here in a model they had um let me turn the lights on they had um a queen size bed two nightstands and a dresser in here they actually had the bed right here facing this wall and then i feel like they had the dresser right here or something like that i don't remember anyway so this is it Um, and what I love about this room is that this also has a walk-in closet so this was a plus this is the biggest square footage or floor plan they have so I do have an appointment with some closet closet company to come and see um give me a quote on how much it will be to do a customized closet in here but anyways, this is it. Let me stand back a bit again. So this is a perfect size for 
second bedroom. It looks a bit small. I feel like it looks a bit small on the camera than actually looks in person. But once I put the furniture in there, it would all make sense. Last but certainly not least, y'all. Um, actually, yeah, let me show you all the half bath. Not the half bath. This is actually a full bath for the two bedrooms. It was pretty dark cabinet as well. But the granite countertop here are a bit darker than the one in the kitchen, which makes sense because this is the bathroom. But this is how it looks like. And there's no mirrors, of course. This right here is supposed to be a smart fan, whatever. I don't know. He told me something about it, but that's supposed to work for this fan right here. So that's that. Um, anyway, so last but not least, y'all, the master bedroom. Let's go. Of course, no lights. I probably should film this again, but let's see. Anyway, so this is the master bedroom. Super spacious, y'all. Like, this camera is doing this no justice. I feel like it's so big, but this feature I love is the tray ceilings. So, so pretty. Um, this wall is where my TV will be, as well as my dresser. And this is the walk-in closet, which is much bigger than the one we just looked at. Um, so yes, I do want some customized closet in here to utilize the space much more. But anyway. Anyways, doll, oh, I gotta show y'all the bathroom. I was about to wrap this up. So this is the master bathroom. I do have my tub. I love the fact that there are windows right here, which brings in a lot of light, especially during the day. Lots of cabinet space, two sinks, toilet, and also a stand-up shower with a bench with a seat and area. Let me show you all how it looks. This is it. I don't think I missed anything. So I'm about to wrap this up, but stay tuned. So, so, I have so many videos coming up, y'all. You don't want to miss. But until my next video, have a blessed day. Bye.